you can make you can make a, a lot of decisions just based on local information, I think. Uh, but also, if you think about the, the, the layers of management and hierarchy within most organizations and what is the job of those managers to do, um, well, it's, it's, in one sense, it's to direct and coordinate the work. In another sense, their information, their job is to provide information. Their job is to take information from the top level of the company and translate that into actions and plans at the front line. And also to... Ch- their 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 job in the other direction is to take what's happening in the front line and translate that to so it makes sense to the senior executives. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm going to get into a kind of what is maybe a radical thought here, um, and uh, I haven't actually blogged this one yet. But here's my thought: um, for the last 50 years, we've been automating a lot of uh, manual and factory uh, work. And uh, we've got robots doing a lot of that. And the factories are, in many cases, more productive with fewer workers. Um, you know, the next, uh, you know, what's going to happen with the information revolution is uh, a lot of that management work is going to not be done by people anymore. So all that information that needs to be translated from the front line up to the senior executives, um, all, a lot of that management work can be actually automated with information systems. Um, if the frontline person can have access to all the information that's needed for them to do their job effectively, why do you need a manager? 